Hello everyone, welcome to Biopandi, your one-stop competency bioinformatics training platform. I am Shuman, your very own Biopandi. Now, I am going to talk about DNA-based tagging. Obviously, your first question is, what is base tagging? Base tagging is a deviation of DNA bases from ideal double helix geometry. Why this deviation? There are several reasons behind this, such as thermal fluctuation, DNA bending, and interaction with other biomolecules. Base tapping has a substantial impact in thermal stabilization of the double helix structure of DNA. The most prominent feature of all forms of DNA is the extensive stacking of its bases. In ZDNA, due to the rigid backbone structure, the base stacking pattern is well fixed. However, in A and B DNA, substantial deviations from ideal base pair geometries are observed. Now, deviations are there. So, we have to compute them geometrically. How to do that? Here is your solution. Any deviation in a Cartesian coordinate space can be expressed in terms of minimum 3 translation and 3 rotational parameters. So, let us see what are those parameters. First of all, base tagging parameters can be classified into two categories base pair parameters and base pair state parameters. First, we will define Cartesian coordinate system. You can see the x, y, and z axis here. First, let us start with base pair parameter. Here, deviation of one base with respect to its pair base is considered. Here are the three base pair parameters that consider translational deviations from ideal base pair geometry. Deviation along x axis is called shear. Deviation along y axis is called stretch. Deviation along z axis is called stack. Here are three base pair parameters that consider rotational deviations from ideal base pair geometry. Rotation along x axis is called buckle. Rotation along y axis is called propeller twist. And rotation along z axis is called opening. Well guys, just as a single base can deviate with respect to the its pair base, two successive base pairs can also deviate with respect to each other from their ideal geometries. Since these parameters deal with two successive steps of DNA ladder, they are called base pair step parameters. Here are three base pair step parameters that consider translational deviations from ideal geometries. Deviation along x axis is called shift. Deviation along y axis is called slide. And deviation along z axis is called rise. And here are three base pair state parameters that consider rotational deviations from ideal geometry. Rotation along x axis is called tilt. Rotation along y axis is called roll. And rotation along z axis is called twist. So, this is all for now, guys. For further information on structural biology, please keep watching the other videos of Biopandit. Please feel free to contact us in Biopandit at the real gmail.com and in our Facebook page with suggestions, requests for videos, and asking for technical help. If you like our video, hit the like button, and if you find it helpful, please share with your friends. You know that so far we have uploaded videos that focus only on the conceptual aspects of bioinformatics. But make no mistake, we are not going to stop here. 
we are going to upload a lot of technical videos that describes the use of computational tools and programs for various bioinformatics analysis. If you learn these techniques, I can promise you, you can address specific biological problem yourselves. So for the upcoming updates, please subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page. Bye guys, see you soon.